Welcome back to another Stable Leash YouTube video here on a Friday. Today we're going to be deciding whether this one litre or this one litre is a better contender for a compact car. Now this is a Toyota Ego and this is a Renault Clio. Now then, you've seen both cars, but don't pick your favourite just yet because we'll be dissecting both of these into different sections. We've got exterior design, interior features and the driving ability. So let's check out the Toyota Ego first. The Ego brings the youthful and dynamic vibe with its compact dimensions. It's got the X-shaped front grille with sharp lines. It's got the badge in the centre, the black front splitter and the LED headlights. Now this is perfect for a friendly city car with a dash of style. So over to the Renault. On the other hand, the Clio went for a more sophisticated appearance with its sleek design, the big bold front grille and the stylish LED headlights that make it more mature and a redefined. It's it's definitely got the European flair. Now in terms of exterior features both have safety elements but the Ego has safety sense which comes with pre-collision systems and the lane departure alert so it's better to drive the Ego and it's more safer. Now onto size and the Clio outmatches the Ego with 585mm in length but that's not all. This one is a 5 seater and the Ego is only a 4 seater with 2 in the back but the outstanding part is the boot size. Now the boot is funny because you have to open it just next to the license plate but it can hold 391 litres of space with the seats up which is huge amount that you can ram your shopping and your other bits and bobs in there. So let's go check out the ear goes because there's a huge difference in that. So to open the boot you just have to press this button and it opens slightly and then you can look at the tiny size that this Ego has. It can only hold 168 litres which is not a lot at all. You're lucky if you can fit your golf clubs in that. Now we're on to the interior and we'll start it off with the Ego. Now this 2021 is not really updated. It looks a bit old fashioned with this big old centre console that's sticking out looking like a robot. Now I'm not too sure if I quite like it, but it is well spacious. I'll give you that for the compact car and you have got a lot of room, especially in the passenger sit foot well. We also have the great two-tone cloth upholstery on the seats, which are really comfy. And we also get the decorative inserts on the dash and the doors, which give it a little bit more colour for this outdated interior. You also get the multifunctional steering wheel. You've not got too many options, though. You've got mode, volume, next song, and answering and declining calls. So there's not too much to do whilst you're driving. You've also got the speed limiter just here, and you've got the speedometer straight in front of you and the RPM just to the left of it. Here, you've got the infotainment center. It's seven inches, and it can get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as Bluetooth connectivity. You can answer calls and talk to friends whilst listening to your music. So it's all very nice. You've got the climate control. It's got the dials, nice and easy to handle. It's not touchscreen, so it's nice and simple. You've also got the two cup holders and quite a bit of space there. And you've also got the automatic handbrake. So there is really some positive attributes to take from the Ego. It's got rather comfy and spacious. So let's go check out the Clio and see what they are. Now you can notice it straight away. No, it's not the decorative inserts, it's the seats. Now these are black 3D velvet fabric with a black leather upholstery, which look really cool and they're very comfy, I must say. But you've also got the multifunctional steering wheel. It's really cool and it's got the speed limiter and cruise control, really nice and smooth to navigate. We'll get onto driving it very, very soon. You also get the virtual cockpit that is behind the steering wheel, much better than the speed dometer that the Ego has. It is a keyless entry, so you do get the start engine stop there. And then you've got this portrait 9.3 inch infotainment center that gets for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as all the other apps such as the navigation and the music and your phone, which looks really cool. And then you've got the climate control, which is a much better dial system compared to the Ego's as well. And not to mention the decorative inserts that's fully 
over the dash not just on the air vents and it's also on the doors which is really nice and cool now normally i'd say the ego is better because of the reverse and camera that it has but this clio has the parking pack which comes with front parking sensors and the reverse and camera now i've got to say this interior of a clio is way better than the ego Right, to start off with, we have got the Ego, and let's see how this drives. I don't have too much promise, because I don't think it drives out well. So, with the Ego, I think it's got that nimble, compact design, so it's better for manoeuvring around cities, which is very helpful. But regards to, it's got a heavy steering wheel when I'm turning there. So regards to power, I feel like this has got quite a bit. So one litre, the pulling feels quite nimble and nifty. It's got quite a little bit of power behind us, which is always good. It is rather difficult because the gears are so close together, it's hard to manoeuvre around them. And the clutch isn't that deep. It's really hard to manoeuvre because it really is a heavy steering wheel. So it makes it that much harder to turn when you're going around corners. Now this one litre VTI engine is a bit of a peppy performance. It's got a 0 to 62 time in 13.8 seconds. It's got a top speed of 99 miles per hour and it's got brake horsepower of 70. Damn. So to conclude, it's not my personal choice, but I wouldn't really choose to drive this. It's got a heavy steering wheel, which makes it really difficult to navigate and turn corners. The gears are really tight and really small and really tight together. So it's really difficult to change from one to three and four and five. The infotainment screen, it's really outdated. It's so old, it feels like, and you can't really see the reverse and camera well. It doesn't give you exactly that much guidance. So overall, I'm hoping that that Clio is a little bit better to drive. So let's go see what this one litre TCE is like. Wow, it's bright. <laughs> feel, it does feel quite nice and smooth when you can drive because of the lever steering wheel, it slowly smooths it through your hand. So it's really quite nice. It's very slow when you're getting into gears. So when you're pulling into second, there's not that much pull. Still got some pull. We'll go around. It's nice and easy, especially when reversing with the camera, because you can easily just see what you're doing. And with that parking pack, it might be a bit more expensive, but if you can get it for the Clio, I think it's a definite good suggestion because it does help when manoeuvring around tight corners. So what is the statistics for it? It's got 0 to 62 time in 11.8 seconds. It's got a top speed of 117 miles per hour and it's got 99 brake horsepower. Now for a one litre, that isn't very much, but what did you expect? I really don't mind driving the Renault Clio. It is really smooth and easy to drive, really easy to navigate with the leather steering wheel. The infotainment center looks really cool. It does catch your eye and you can easily see it. And all altogether, it's got a cool looking design and 
it's a rather nice powerful machine. So to conclude, after you've seen the exterior and the interior features and you've seen me drive both of them, I will be splitting it up into five different sections of which one I would choose out of them. So for the exterior, it's got to go to the Clio. It looks nicer, it's got a nicer design, it's bigger and it looks more of a sleek design. But for the Ego, it's not for me, it's too compact, too small. The interior though, the Clio takes it again. It's got the full width decorative insert on the dash. It's got the bigger infotainment center and it looks a lot nicer. But for comfort, I definitely go for the Eagle. The cloth upholstery is a lot nicer to sit on compared to the 3D velvet. That's just my personal opinion though. For driving, it's got to be for the Clio. The Eagle's gears are too small too tight together the heavy steering wheel it just wasn't for me it's too small and nimble and for space it's got to be the Clio it's got an extra seat in the back and more boot space so the Clio is the winner for the one litre versus one litre let me know down in the comments if you agree with me and if you would like to see more challenges just like this and don't forget to like and subscribe so until next time see you later